Hello world, Noah here. In this video, we're going to solve a fairly simple programming puzzle. Uh, hopefully you might learn something new as we go through this. I'll read you the problem first, then I'm going to challenge you to try to solve it yourself, and then we'll look at a nice one-line solution in Python. So here's the problem. We're given two strings, we're gonna call them A and B, and from these two strings, we wanna construct a new string that contains every letter that appears in either A or B at least one time. And then we want to sort the string. So in this example right here, uh, you'll notice that A is, is this long string and B is this long string. And so essentially we say, okay, the letter A does in fact appear in one of these two strings. So we want to include the letter A here. And the letter B does also appear in one of these two strings at least, so we want to include it there, and so on and so forth. The important thing is that we don't want to repeat letters, so even if there's two A's here and a third A in the B string, we only want to show one letter to end with. We don't want to have duplicates. So there's a bunch of different ways that you could go about doing this. Maybe you could use a loop that would loop the letters from A to Z, and then just check to see if that particular letter is inside of A or B, and in that case you would add it to your string. That would be pretty simple. Uh, but let's just look at a one-line solution. I don't want to give anything away, so pause the video now and see if you can figure it out, and then I will show you my one-line solution uh, using a couple of special techniques. Okay, so hopefully you took a second to pause the video, maybe think about it a little bit. To solve this problem, I'm going to use the data structure called a set. This is a data structure that exists in pretty much any programming language that you could think of, and it's pretty much fundamental. A set is essentially like a list, but the one major difference, the most important difference, is that a set must contain distinct values. You cannot have the same exact value twice in a set. So what I mean by that is, let's say that I create a set called x. And in Python, to create a set, we use curly braces. So let's say I have it include 1, 2, 3. And I'll go ahead and I want to print out x. So if I run this, you'll see it quite simply says 1, 2, 3. You can ignore the none because that's just coming from line 21. Uh, but you can see it says 1, 2, 3. And if I try to add another 1 in there, you'll notice that that doesn't change the output at all. It's still 1, 2, 3. Because when I try to put a duplicate value, it will just discard that value and not do anything at all. This sounds like it could work very well for our problem because the problem only wants distinct letters. Even though there are three A's in these two strings, we only want to have one A show up in the end. So maybe a set could work out for us. So inside of here we have A and B, which are going to be strings, and we want to convert them into sets. So we'll call A set, and to do this, uh, to convert from a list or some other iterable type to a set, you use the set uh, class, and then in parentheses you put the value that you want to convert into a set. And since a string is iterable, you know, we can loop through all the values in a string, all the letters in a string, we can do this. And so essentially what this will do is it will take A and it will turn it from being a string into a set. And when it sees, okay, there are two A's in the string, it'll keep the first A but discard the second one. So let's just take a look at what exactly this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and print out A set. And you'll notice that it contains each letter inside of A, C, D, X, A, F, B, W, E, Y. So it contains all of the distinct letters. It, it essentially just threw out all of the duplicate letters. It's a very nice way of doing that. You'll also notice that it's no longer in order. It doesn't go X, Y, A, so on and so forth. Uh, but we'll deal with sorting everything in order later. So now that we have A and B... Uh, put into sets as being you know, distinct, we want to combine the two sets into one. Because remember the problem said, as long as a letter appears in either A or B, or perhaps even both, we want to display it. So we essentially want to find the union of A and B. We want to take all the values that are in A and all the values that are in B, and we want to combine them into one larger set. So to do this, uh, we'll call this AB set, and it's equal to A set dot union B set. So basically, it will combine everything from A set and everything from B set into one larger set. 
and of course it will discard duplicates. So for example, the letter A appears in both strings, uh, it appears in both A set and B set, but it will only appear once in A, B set. So if I run this, you'll notice it's now a lot longer, and it contains all of the distinct letters that appear in either A or B, or perhaps even both of them. We've essentially solved the problem at this point, uh, but we need to get the output to look like this. It needs to all be one string instead of being a set, and it also needs to be in alphabetical order. So let's do that first, and then I'll show you how you can actually get this down into one line. So once we have a b set, we want to uh, we want to sort it. So we can say um, we could just call uh, we'll say a b set or we'll we'll call it a b sorted. Keep it nice and simple, and we'll just use sorted a b set. This is a trick you probably know in Python. You just use sorted. <clears throat> you pass some sort of iterable type, and it will give you a sorted version of that. And uh, I should probably print it out if we want to see what it looks like. Oops, a b sorted. So if I run this, you'll see it now transforms from a set into a list but it's now in order. The other important thing about a set is it is unordered. So a list is ordered, you can say, okay, A is the zeroth element, B is the first, C is the second, so on and so forth. Uh, but in a set, there is no order to the elements. So we obviously can't sort a set if you can't put things in order. So when we call sorted, it will turn a B set into a list, and it will then be able to sort it in alphabetical order. Pretty simple. Now we just need to essentially get this list down into a string. And of course there's a nice way to do that in Python using join. Uh, so we'll use an empty string, and you can use uh, double quotes, I usually just like single quotes in Python. Um, but we'll call join and we'll give it the iterable AB sorted. So essentially it will take each element inside of AB sorted and it will join it by using nothing as the space in between. So if I run this, I should probably assign this, so uh, we'll call this AB string and I'm going to print AB string. Um, and if I run this, you'll see it now combines everything down into one string. And indeed this does look like the correct answer. Just for reference, if I put a space in there, it would just insert a space between every element in the list. But if I put nothing in there, it will just basically compact everything into one string. So now we've basically solved the problem pretty nicely using sets. We just converted A into a set and B into a set. We joined them together using the union operator or the union method. Uh, we then converted it to a list and sorted that list, and finally we joined it to turn it from a list into a string so that it would match uh, what the answer is asking us to do. So I'm gonna comment this out, and let's just see how we can do this in one line. Well, the first thing, and I guess this really should say return a b string, because we wanna return it, uh, but the first thing that we're gonna do is we can actually do a set of a plus b. So we're basically adding the two strings together and then we're taking the set. That's basically instead of finding the two sets and then taking the union of them. This makes sense, right? It just takes everything inside of a and it sticks everything inside of b on the end of it and now you just have one larger string and it finds the set of that. So, th so this uh, right here, set of a plus b, will essentially be equal to this a b set. It's just a slightly shorter way of doing it. Once we have that set, we need it to be sorted, so we call sorted on that set. And finally, since we want to join all of this with, uh, you know, no space in between, we simply pass that as a parameter to join, and we want to return this value. So if I hit run, you'll notice it gives the exact same answer, and if we compare this to the answer up here, we'll see that it is exactly correct. So there's a really nice, really concise one-liner that deals with this. We basically combine A and B together to be one long string. We then use set to remove all of the duplicates. We use sorted to turn it into a list and put it in alphabetical order. And then we use join to take each element and stick them all together in one string so that we can make our output look nice. You'll notice this is super concise, super short, and pretty easy to understand. I mean, if you look at this for a couple seconds, you can kind of figure out what's going on here. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe you thought of this solution as soon as you read the problem, I don't know. Or maybe you didn't even know about sets or some of the properties or how a set could help you in a certain situation. So I hope that maybe you learned something or reinforced a concept in this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any requests, put them down in the comments section. And I will see you all soon with some more videos. Bye for now.